1990s, I was walking at uh, my garden, which you see behind me. And uh, I was thinking, I have been doing particle physics all my life. Maybe I should do something different. Maybe I should do something I know nothing about. Then I ask myself, uh, if the universe has come from a Big Bang, there should be equal amount of matter and the antimatter. And where is the universe made out of antimatter? And then I thought, maybe I should try to put a magnetic spectrometer into space. At that time, I have no, absolutely no idea, no experience about space. But fortunately, I had many, many friends, among them Professor Tsukiki, great leader from INFN, and also Roberto Battistone and uh, Bruno Bertucci, and many, many others. And together with people from INFN, also people from Germany and from France, and uh, from many, many countries, we decided to propose the experiment. And uh, I talked to Mr. Golding, the head of NASA, and uh, he said, uh, this is a good experiment. And, uh, it's idea for the space station. But then he also said, you have, ne you have no experience in space. Why don't you do an experiment on the space shuttle first? And if the space shuttle is successful, you will do the experiment in space. So together with people from INFN and also from Germany, from other countries, we built very quickly the experiment. And they flew successfully on the space shuttle. Then NASA said, again, now you can use the same detector for the space station. Then we thought, no, we should uh, build a super precise detector for space station. <laughs> and the second one took us quite a few years, nearly nearly 10 years to build, because we, we after the first experiment, we realized in space, you cannot repair it. This is how MSO2 is in space.